Hi. Today we're going to demonstrate kiosk mode with looping enabled to show how you can set up an unattended kiosk so that user for research so that users, clients, patients, any number of uh, potential respondents can interact with your survey in an unattended manner. So first thing I'm doing is I'm setting up survey pocket. Let's get that over. And I'm putting in my device key and it's KK. B, oh, I got to type properly, excuse me, K, K, I'm doing this on my iPhone, so like K, K, B, P, H, and password, let's go to the password is 1, 7, 0, 1, 3, and I'm going to go accept our, because for some reason my phone's in Spanish, I'm going to hit back, it's now synchronizing. It's fetching my surveys. It's at the very okay. Point. So you can see I've got a large list of surveys here. The problem is you never want a user to have to interact with all of these surveys. So when you're setting up your kiosk mode, you can either set up your survey in a folder, so it's one survey in one folder. That's the only thing they would see. Or you can set up looping. In this case, I'm going to take the worst bar restaurant survey. First thing I'm going to do is enable kiosk mode. I do that by going to the gear in the bottom right hand corner. I go to enable kiosk mode. You'll now notice that I cannot click on where it says surveys to get the other tabs and I don't have the ability to sync. So the end user, the responding, cannot get in and interact with the application, simply the survey. So I'm going to click on the survey and start it. I'm going to go to start survey and let's do this once. So how satisfied are you with the following? Wait time, service, the food was outstanding. So I go to next, and I was extremely satisfied, and then I've got my net promoter score, and I was an eight. So now I've got a completed survey. Because I have it on looping, it went right back to the first page. Now note that kiosk mode will not trigger on the first page because with looping turned on, you want to leave that page available so anyone can walk up and begin the survey. So I'll hit next. Now we're going to wait 30 seconds. Okay, at this point, you'll see the kiosk mode timer has come up. I'll show you where to make these settings in the device keys, but I set it for 30 seconds, so we waited for 30 seconds. The kiosk mode timer pops up, and you have a choice here. Are you finished? Response will be stored in 20 seconds. If you do nothing, this survey is going to store itself as an incomplete, and then it's going to reset. So let's stay here and watch. Please note that the survey went right back to the main page. The survey timer will not trigger on the first page, so the user, the next user, will be able to come up and immediately take the survey. Okay, now, before we go, I'd like to show you how to set this up on your device key. Okay, so when you're in the mobile tab and you see your list of device keys, you go to the device key that's impacted, in this case, Greg's iPhone. You make sure your name is right. You've got all of your other settings here, but two settings that I'm particularly concerned with are enabling loop survey and enable kiosk mode. Notice that the kiosk pin, we'll go back and I'll show you how to turn off the kiosk mode in one second, just because I think it's relevant. We'll cut that in. Um, you can set any four-digit identifier as your kiosk pin. And then you've got the kiosk timer. If you click that kiosk timer, you'll see I'll allow you to do an auto reset anywhere from 30 seconds to 120 seconds. Again, depending on the length of the survey, the kind of environment you're in, you're going to want to adjust that just due to a patient, attention, stands, attention spans, etc. All right, so now let's go back to Survey Pocket, and I'll actually show you how to turn off kiosk mode. So kiosk mode is on. So what you need to do is you need to go to the top survey on the list, hold it down for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, sorry. You'll see the slide to cancel kiosk mode. And I can enter my code. So I'm going to go four, five, two, one. Wait a minute, that's not what we entered. Let me try one, two, three, four. I'm now out of kiosk mode. I have the ability to synchronize my surveys and all of my data is now available to use online. I hope that helped.